When it comes to cutting tubular keys, um, at times they can really kind of be a pain. At the same time, they can be extremely profitable and very niche, and it's really a great way that you can grow your key cutting business. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty of actually cutting the keys, well, it can be challenging at times. You have a few different options out there. You can decode an existing key. Hopefully it's not too worn and you can uh, match it with some specs. You can buy just a standard tubular duplicator or with some machines you can buy the jaw to cut them with your electronic key machine. And what I want to do today with the Triton Plus is I want to cut a tubular key, but I want to keep it a little interesting and I want to have a little fun with it at the same time. Now this tubular key um, comes from a uh, cam lock, a brand new off the shelf, but we're gonna pretend that we have no idea what the code series is and this just came into our door here. And it's what we're gonna do together is we're just going to just do the basic, standard, generic key trace and cut. Meaning, you, we're literally gonna put this key in, we're gonna hit the, um, tubular key, that's all we're gonna give it, and we're gonna have it see if it can decode and cut this key. And of course, we're gonna test it because if it can work and if it can work really good, well, it is a great alternative because at the end of the day, if you're gonna invest in a machine like the Triton Plus or even in another machine just like it, well, shoot, I mean, if you can make your job easier and well, honestly, a little more fun, um, then why not? So well, let me go ahead, we'll get a camera over there and let's have some fun with this key. All right, so we're gonna be using this uh, S3 jaw right here. Let's go ahead and get it put in. I know people have asked about what it's like to put a jaw in and you're gonna be surprised how easy. So you just put it in like that, tighten it down and you're done. So now that we have the jaw in, is what we're gonna do is go to trace duplication. All right, and we're going to scroll down to tubular. Now let's go ahead and get our key. Key put in here. So we'll lift this up. And all we're gonna do is um, put the key in like this. Leave it a little up, put it a little higher. There we go. Now, as you can see, um, this spring-loaded piece right here, as I'm tightening it, it's getting everything out level and straight and all that fun stuff. So once we got it like that, we'll go ahead and close the shield. We're gonna hit decode. Now, of course, uh, let's make sure it's clear of uh, debris there. Hit okay. All right, now I'm just using here just the standard um, one millimeter tracer that uh, we I used. It's the same one I used for like the Schlage um, decoding. So it's just the standard universal one here. So let's go ahead and just checking everything out here. All right, so now it's decoding each depth. It looks like it's just moving right around to each individual number here or space. Okay, so let's see what it's telling us here. All right, so it's so showing us that there's seven. Doesn't look like there was an option for eight from at least how that decoded that there. And then here you can see the actual measurement of each depth in each space, which is kind of cool because if we don't know what we're going to be uh, working with or exactly what the tubular key we have um, is, so we don't know if we have the code series right or not. So I love how it just uh, measures each one like that. So once we have it there, let's go ahead and take this one out. And so what we're gonna do is put our blank tubular key in. It's just a 137B, it's the JMA version right here. We wanna put that down and right up here, we're just gonna hit cut. Looks like we got this uh, 
he done here? Now before we try it, I'm just gonna put it on a buffer wheel really quick. All right, so we got the key buffed, got the uh, lock here, and let's give it a try. Boom. All right, so there you have it. How cool is that? Just to be able to stick a tubular key in with a couple clicks, have it decode and cut a new tubular key that works is pretty cool. And I tell you what, if you're going to, if you have, or you're going to invest in a uh, machine like the Triton to be able to have that jaw to do it is honestly amazing. Now, I did find it interesting that it wasn't like a true trace though. Instead, it was like, it assumed it was a seven pin. So maybe that'll change over time, maybe not. Let's just keep it for what it is today. Um, but I tell you what, that is pretty cool. And so if you have a seven pin, which is the most common tubular key out there today, it's a great feature to have and it can make your job even easier. But I would really love to know what you think in the comments below and make sure that you include the hashtag LockBoss to automatically get entered in to win one of five free prizes we give away each week here on YouTube. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.